first thing was it, it was I was interested in advocating for, for women concerns. But I did it outside of the of the political arena. You know, we did it. I did it very well with women communities. We went. We had, we lobbied politicians, and you know, before that, and 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 then, you know, I started to realize that that you know that I could also end up as a political candidate. So it wasn't really. It wasn't an ambition of like 20 years ago. It was something that came in later. And it was through these advocacy roles that I played that some other, uh, other political friends were encouraging me to get into Parliament. I didn't realize my potential. I didn't know that I had that good community profile. But some political friends, some politician friends were, you know, why don't you go to politics, you know? And I said, can I get it? <laughs> and I, yes, you can. You've been working with that and that and that and, you know. So you can be in parliament. So, so first thing I didn't realize that I, I had that good community profile. But some people were, were encouraging me to go. Like, you know, I read a number of you know stories. I got involved a lot in the domestic violence study, and, and then I was involved in some meetings on you know, in the country and abroad, and. and I started to learn that, that around the world there's like a lot less, less women in, in, in political arena. And um, I, I also realized that domestic violence issues, concerns of women are not that highly voiced. That's my learning. So for me, I think it's, it's very important to have women in that, in that decision making. So.